Amira, hmm? Farah, Abah dengan Ibu dah buat keputusan. Kita dah sedia untuk jual rumah ni. Kita berdua dah nak masuk 55 tahun tak lama lagi. Ha, jadi kalau dapat duit lebih tu daripada jual rumah ni, boleh juga ditaya. Rumah ni tinggal 2 tahun lagi lagi. Abi, Abang nak pindah ke mana? Hmm, tu lah. Abang nak beli rumah baru ke? Itulah. Abah ajak berbincang dengan korang ni. Abah fikir kalau kita boleh tumpang kat rumah Farah ke rumah Amirah ke boleh juga kita tengok cucu-cucu kita dekat hari. Lagipun Abah dah malas lah pasal rumah ni. Kenapa Abah tak nak beli rumah kecil aja? At least ada retirement home. Nak buat apa Farah? Kenapa? Farah tak nak jaga kita? Kita ni dah makin tua tu. Ha, kalau tak pasal korang, siapa lagi kita boleh harap? Merepek je Abah. Farah ni cuma fikirkan tentang retirement Abah. Lagipun, Abah tahu kan, dalam masa 2 tahun, Farah dah nak pindah. Pasal masa tu, Farah dapat kunci kondo. Kondo tu 2 bilik je. Mana ada tempat? Amirah tu. Amirah? Hmm? Boleh kita tumpang? Uh, itulah Abah. Uh, bukannya Amirah tak nak. Uh, cuma rumah Amirah tak ada bilik spare lah Abah. Mana ada bilik untuk anak-anak. Bilik untuk mek. Habis sekarang ni pun Wan punya parents tengah tinggal dengan Amirah tau buat sementara waktu ni. Sebab dia orang tengah tunggu rumah dia orang siap. Akak, ah, your in-laws pun sama situation macam abang dengan ibu kan? Hmm. Dia orang buat apa? Beli rumah dua bilik? Hmm, yelah, berdua je kan? Tak perlulah beli rumah besar-besar. Ah, -besar. Abah. Abah tak nak consider ke? As what you saw in the earlier video, the father has decided to sell the house but with the intention to stay with the children in the retirement days. However, due to space constraint in both daughters' house, this will be an issue for all of them. So how can they move forward from here? For owners who are in their retirement age and have the intention to sell their existing house to clear off the loan or to get cash proceed, I will usually advise to also consider at least buying another house even if it's just a two-room flat. Now this will still leave them with an asset or a place to stay if anything happens. And if they are above 55 years old, they can consider the two-room flexi scheme which will be cheaper due to the shorter lease period. You can make use or maximize the CPF that you are getting back from the sale of existing house and have a peace of mind. What's important for this type of case is to have mutual understanding and agreement with the family on what's the best option after going through the whole plan and financial calculation. You need to see if you are cleared financially and who knows, there might be other better options for you to consider. If you like to find out more about this or anything with regards to your housing matters, you can contact me at 94592866 or PM me directly and I'll be happy to discuss further and assist you on it. Do like and share this video and follow all of my socials for more content. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Fidelsia, signing off.